Hi friends, hope you are doing well. So today my talk is about internships and these are internships specifically designed for foreign students who are doing their bachelor's degree. And these guys may be studying in the US or they may be studying in any country around the world. So this is a very prestigious summer internship. It is given by the UC Ede, which is the University of California in Los Angeles and it is broadly focused on the math, science and computing type of disciplines or the STEM disciplines. So let us discuss this internship in detail. So this is known as the RIPS intern program that is RIPS and RIPS here stands for research in industrial projects for students and this internship is typically held between June and August every year so it corresponds very nicely with the summer break which you get in most of the colleges. So most of the colleges typically have a spring program, they have a fall program and the summers are essentially free and many a time students go home but during their third year they can easily take an internship here. So this is for students who are slightly senior. Now this program is essentially targeted for undergraduate students in math, computer science and related disciplines. So I would include engineering here also and this is essentially coming from industrial and applied mathematics program in the university. Now what you do here is that you work in teams on real world research projects from industry and the government. You have an academic and industry mentor and you get a research problem. You do the research, you present the results both as a presentation as well as a written document. So if you are somebody who has done a good piece of work here, you may be able to even get a conference paper or sometime a journal paper out of this work. This is a nine week program which you can use during the summer vacation. So what are the companies which sponsor this program? Some of the companies mentioned here include Google, AMD, IBM, Lawrence Livermore National Lab and also Roswell Biotech, Meta and AMD and Aerospace Corporation. Now the projects typically involved serious math and computer science type of work. So I would assume the word serious means that they are not going to ask you to differentiate x square or sin x or print programs related to hello world and so on or convert centigrade to Fahrenheit. They are going to ask you somewhat more tougher work to do. As you can see the sponsors of this program are some of the national labs and the top companies. So I would suggest that if you are interested in this program you need to prepare very well by being very thorough in the math and computing domain. So certainly make sure that you take courses in calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, probability and stochastic processes, statistics and learn three computing languages or maybe two of them. For example, if you are in college, you are certainly going to learn MATLAB as part of your regular life, but also make sure that you learn Python and either C++, Java or Julia. So it's a good idea to have a good repertoire of languages so that if you are asked to do programming in any one of them, you are quickly able to do that. So this is something to remember. Now some of the problems which have been posed to students in the past include space system design, crime modeling, machine learning, weather forecasting, digital image blending, quantum computing and finance. So you see here that the problems are inherently multidisciplinary or I would say even interdisciplinary and the common theme here is the application of mathematics. So in some ways you can say this is an applied math and computing type of research possibility. Now let's come to what many of you are really interested in is what's the benefit and the benefit is that you get a pretty good stipend of about 4000 US dollar. You also get a round trip fare from your place wherever you are staying to Los Angeles. So essentially you get to land at the LAX airport and then you get to stay in the UCLA campus and they're going to provide you a place to stay probably in the halls or somewhere else and also they are going to provide you with some money for meals so you can certainly enjoy the pizzas at the university cafeteria and so on. Now what do you do about the application process? There are many details of course which are given in the web page. I'm going to put a link in the description box 
you should be in one of the tech domains to apply so of course specifically math and computing is closest maybe even data science but given the type of problems they do i would say any engineering major would also be good even people who are doing their degrees in business or some of the other fields which are very quantitatively focused at times then you can also apply so make sure that you are in one of the stem programs because if you are a foreign student being in a stem program will also help you with the f1 and some of these things now beside this you also need to make sure you have a strong background in math of course you are familiar with things such as computer languages and so on and you should be more than 18 year old when you are applying and a current student or you could be even somebody who has just graduated so this is again a thing which is very useful for you now they do mention that they would especially like to get application from women and minority groups so if you are in any of the groups which are disadvantaged historically in the stem domains which certainly includes women but it could also include people who are from african and latin ancestry then you can also consider applying here and do remember that if you are a foreign student in the us you can apply so this is one of the few situations where being a foreign student in the us is an advantage and of course if you are a foreign student abroad you can also apply so naturally if you are a student abroad you are a foreign student with respect to the us if we consider the us as the reference frame and one of the interesting fact is that graduate seniors are also eligible so this is something which can help you if you are somebody who is finishing the degree and is looking to do something in the summer maybe you still need to get a job then this is something you can consider applying for now the very fact that they are allowing the foreign students in us to work means that this program is compatible with the f1 practical training program so the universities will certainly make any documentation necessary which is required for this kind of program so do keep that in mind now this program it's a nine week program during your summer vacation of course i should mention this is quite competitive because many people are going to apply but very often what happens is that people are not aware of many of these summer intern programs so unfortunately despite the fact that these universities and organizations try to spread their program through various means what happens is that many of the students are not cognizant about these programs they apply for various internships here and there in companies and so on but the fact that there are these good university internships which actually let you do research with a private company or a government lab on a top level research project is something you may not even know of so i hope this video is useful to you and do share it with other people who may benefit from it remember this is for people who are bachelor's degree student but even if you are a phd student or a master's student or a elderly person you can ask some of the young people to consider this fact and to spread it in their network because this is going to help them boost their career considerably over the next few years so i hope you benefit from this video and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then